we have some big news. What's happened? We were just awarded a Center of Excellence for the Dark Matter. The Center, Center of... <laughs> Lindsay, would you like to have a go? Yeah, it's the Center of Excellence for Dark Matter Particle Physics. Excellent, congratulations. So what does that mean? It means that for the next uh, seven years, we've got $5 million a year to support our Dark Matter program. The goal of the program is to uh, look for the particle nature of dark matter. Right. So we know the dark matter exists in nature from various yep. astrophysical phenomena. Yep. Uh, but what our centre is about is trying to actually identify what the, the nature of the dark matter particle uh -huh. might be. So here on Earth. Here on Earth. So we, we're talking we, about experiments on Earth. We see it around Earth. galaxies, but obviously it must be here as well. The galaxies have a, a, a sort of halo of dark matter around them. Yep. And as the Earth moves through that dark matter, we can actually detect those dark matter particles, if they are particles, interacting with substances on Earth. So yep. what our centre is about is investigating a whole variety of different ways to look for different types of potential dark matter particles. What are some of those ways? Well, we've got uh, SABER, right, which is a, a crystal scintillator that we're going to yep. use in our new underground laboratory yep. that will uh, look for dark matter diffractions in the detector, right, in the crystal. Yep. Um, there and are and others that's the as well. underground one? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Where, where's that? So this is in a new underground lab in yep. uh, Victoria, yep. right, so a kilometre underground in a, in a gold mine. Um, we're going to build this detector, right, in a new laboratory down there. Yep. Fantastic. And that, that laboratory just received an additional $10 million of funding from both the Victorian state government and the federal government. Okay. And we're, um, construction has started, and yep. we're looking to have that ready towards the end of next year, uh, right. potentially as early as the middle of next year. Yep. Um, and so there's a whole set of detectors that will eventually go underground. So these are, these are looking for incredibly faint signals, right? Which is the reason we yep. need to go so deep underground. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But then there's another type of particle called the axion. And the axion can be measured through its interaction with electromagnetic fields. And these are experiments that can be done above ground. So that's being led by the, the group at UWA, um, with involvement oh, okay. from all the other groups uh, who are involved in the centre. So you've got UWA, then you, the, the, there's the experiment in Victoria. So there must be some Victorian universities involved. We've got Swinburne, um, University of Melbourne. And then in Sydney, we have the University of Sydney. We have UWA, we have the University of Adelaide, and we, of course we have the ANU. Right. Uh, in terms of partner institutions, there's a whole wealth of partner institutions from around the world. Yep. Um, in particular, LNGS, or sorry, the INFN, which is the Italian uh, National Nuclear Physics uh, right. sort okay. of scheme, and they manage the, um, LG, the Gran Sasso Laboratory, which oh, yeah. is underground in yep. Italy. And we also have, um, within Australia, we work closely with ANSTO, so ANSTO is also going to be involved. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And there's a whole wealth of other universities, institutions involved around the world. Right. Yeah. And so if all goes beautifully, <laughs> seven years time, what will you have found or achieved or worked out? We can't, you can never be 100% certain you're going to oh, discover yeah, dark I'm not matter. You that. Just dream, come on. Uh, well, dreaming, dreaming, we will have discovered what the particle nature of dark matter is. One of the ways we might, you know, that we can actually discover the properties is because if we can actually identify more about the particle itself, yeah. We then are also involved with experiments at CERN that potentially would make that particle. So right. if we can characterise its properties, there's the potential that at CERN um, they can actually observe that particle and measure and be creating it, right. lots of them, and be able to identify the properties there. Perfect. So there's a number of different programs um, yeah. within the centre, and one of them is that you know potentially uh, characterising the dark matter particle by creating it on Earth. Uh -huh. But so our first goal is to look for it. Is your guess that it's going to be just a single particle or a few? We don't know. We, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need a centre. That's why it's research. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's some well-motivated candidates. Yeah. Um, lots of people believe in axions. Lots of people believe in WIMPs. Yeah. So the Sabre detector, the first one we're building underground, is looking for WIMPs. Yeah. Um, and the axions are being looked for already at UWA. Yeah. Um, but we don't know. The yeah. other part of the centre is a big theoretical program that right. will, will be taking all the data as it comes in around the world and identifying what are the best possible candidates yep. um, and looking for them and developing new models of dark matter and everything yep. else. Yeah. Congratulations. Great Thanks. news. Thanks. Thank you. It is good news. <laughs>